staying put for now at least. Protesters in eastern Ukraine are now waiting to see if their interim president will make good on his threat to use force against them. Military action could be risky, though, as it'll almost certainly trigger a response from Russia, which has tens of thousands of troops camped along the border. During an emergency meeting of the UN Security Council, both the US and Ukraine blamed Moscow for organizing a series of deadly rebellions. But Russia is accusing the Ukraine government of waging war against its own people. Let's ensure we don't allow the reckless actions of the Ukrainian authorities, currently enshrined in the interim president's criminal decree, from being implemented. It will have extremely significant consequences, first and foremost, for the people of Ukraine, and that needs to be avoided. However, the U.S. is hopeful a diplomatic solution can be reached. We remain eager and willing to talk about how to de-escalate the situation. It will require the Russian Federation to pull back its forces, uh, which are ominously stationed and massed at the eastern Ukrainian border. Meanwhile, Ukraine's interim leader is adamant he won't allow repetition of what happened in Crimea. Last month, Russia annexed the region when Moscow-backed former President Viktor Yanukovych fled. Know more about your world. ENCA.com